Yo, what's up guys, this is Offensive Seahawks fan back with another video, and today is part 6 of my new Retro Bowl series. Last time we lost to the Cardinals by 4 points, we were on a 2 game losing streak, and we were taking on the 2-1-2 two, two Chiefs, who have a very cracked team. I don't know how they have 2 ties. I'm guessing one of them was against the Rams. But, um, nothing really to go over uh, uh, besides... We acquired a tight end, Juwan Warner, and Tracy Rogers, our new kicker. Warner was from a trade with the Niners we got for a third round pick, and Rogers we spent the rest of our coaching coins on. Two acquisitions that should help. Only time will tell. Let's get into the game. And we're going to start off with the ball. Let's do this. Boye. Go. Go. Why why is this slow? Why is this being slow? Okay. This is probably if this lasts the whole game, it's gonna be super annoying. Go. Alright, so Packers quarterback Jordan Love believes the sky's the limit for Green Bay's offense for the 2023 season. If that indicates he thinks it's going to be good, I uh, I think it's, it's going to be a middle-of-the-pack offense. They got one of the best one-two combos for running backs. They drafted two tight ends, I think. Christian Watson is developing. They drafted a receiver, uh, what, Jaden Reed. They, uh, the defense is still pretty pretty good. They got rid of the cancer in their locker room being Aaron Rodgers. We finally get to see how Jordan Love is actually going to be. Is he going to be good? Is he going to be complete horse crap? Time will tell in about four months. Or so. Hey, there we go. It's not slow now. I'm a slow player, though. I suck at this game. There we go, Warner. 15 yards for, I think, his first catch. Go, Barkley. Uh, Chiefs GM Brett Veach feels good about contract negotiations with star defensive tackle Chris Jones. Uh, I believe they're going to get a contract. I don't think Jones is going to want to leave that team, that organization, that just everything. Um, he's going to retire there unless some team wants to give him a fat bag, which he deserves. Is one of the best defensive players in the league. He's not leaving. Um, Saints uh, Swiss Army Knife player Taysom Hill is working towards expanded role as a receiver for this upcoming year. I thought he was a receiver. I don't know what position he plays, to be honest with you. He plays everything. In fantasy football, he's a nightmare to have. Because he is, I'm pretty sure he is either positioned at a quarterback or a tight end. And he just, whenever he, like, gets the ball while he gets, like, over 20 points because he's Taysom Hill. And I hate playing against Taysom Hill in real football and fantasy football. Because he tears up my teams. Tore up the Seahawks last year. Like had three touchdowns against us. And whenever I went against him in fantasy football. It was annoying. I wouldn't be surprised if there'd be like a petition set up by a fantasy football community. To get rid of Taysom Hill in fantasy football. Oh, come on, please. Boy, come on. You're so slow. We're not going to get a touchdown. Longest kick return I've ever had playing Retro I don't even know how long it was, but all I know, it was the longest I've ever got. For sure. All right, Hasty. Such a weird name for a quarterback. Ooh, I thought that was going to be picked off for a second. Uh, back to the Packers thing. Um... We're also going to be able to see how uh, Matt LaFleur does without Aaron Rodgers. 
Did LaFleur get carried by Rodgers? Or is he actually a legitimate good head coach? I'm leaning on that he's actually a good coach. And he's going to be just fine. It's going to be different. But I think it's going to be the same. And we miss. Nope, we barely made that. Uh, Bucks wide receiver Mike Evans' next contract could top a $25 million a season. Yeah, I believe it. Mike Evans is so underrated. He's never finished a season with under 1,000 receiving yards in his whole NFL career. And people still don't see the talent he has. He's going to be a Hall of Famer when it's all said and done. <sighs> First ballot, maybe, if he has a few more seasons like he's having. I, I do unfortunately think that um, with Baker Mayfield, his 1,000-yard streak, it's going to end. Baker Mayfield's terrible. And I'm super glad that last offseason when the rumors that the Seahawks might trade for him uh, were happening, I'm glad we didn't listen to that and we stuck with Geno. Baker Mayfield is possibly the worst quarterback in the league starting. Unless Sam Darnold's the starter in San Francisco, which if he is, then he'd be the worst. Sam Darnold is one of the worst quarterbacks I've ever watched. And I've seen a lot of bad quarterbacks play, like Josh Rosen, Paxton Lynch, Zach Wilson, uh, Baker Mayfield in recent years. Oh, his rookie year in 2020 were good years. Everything after, besides that, though, dreadful. Barkley's elite. Speaking of Barkley, Giants are urged to trade uh, running back Saquon Barkley. Just pay him. I know running backs are easily replaceable. Just give him, like, a team-friendly, like, two-year deal for, like, 20-something million just give him a contract. If you lose him, you're making a big mistake, Giants. Alright. And last thing I have is Patriots defensive. I don't even know what position he plays. I forgot to write it down. Uh, but Matt Judon. Let me do this play first. Matt Judon hints at free agent wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins' contract on social media amid the rumors of him. I think what that means is I'm pretty sure when Hopkins had his visit with the Patriots, uh, Judon was putting on his social media like a picture of him and D Hop and like he's the best GM there is or coming soon or something like that. It's indicating that he is going to be joining the Patriots, which I've said like probably six times now that my opinion on what what's happening with it he wants to play with a great quarterback but he's close to signing with the Patriots uh uh you said great quarterback not quarterback made of potatoes Mac Jones is literally a high school principal and we are winners Finally back on the winning streak. Still second in, or third in the division. Uh, Niners are 6-0. and oh, Great. Uh, boy, it gets an upgrade. Hey, Warner didn't do bad at all. 75 yards and a touchdown in his first game as a Seahawk. Los Angeles Chargers offering Mitch Spence as a trade. They want a second rounder in return. Why not, dude? Welcome to the team, buddy. I don't care if I'm wasting draft picks. I'm not playing another season after this. Ah, oh, thank you, Chargers, for being so stupid. I need another sign of running back this time. Throw that note card away. Uh, by the way, this, and I don't know if I mentioned this yet, this video and possibly Madden for Wednesday are both being recorded on Sunday. Uh, kind of late. 
everyone's asleep and that's kind of when I like recording my videos. That's why I'm kind of quiet in them most of the time. Um, but reason is Monday, spending time with family. Tuesday, setting up hopefully three job interviews with places that I don't want to name. Um, so, if I also do end up getting a job, I don't know much about what's going to happen with YouTube. Because it would be my last priority to do. Because I'd actually be busy during the summer. And so far, I haven't really been as busy. I've been uh, uh, looking at jobs and applying. But, it's really all. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Go Hawks!